Hi everyone, welcome back. More on APs and GPs, here we go. Arithmetic progressions. This time, we're gonna get the sum of the numbers. The sum of the progressions. So if I look at this one here, you can obviously see that that's going plus three and that's going plus three. Now what I like to do is start with a simple case where you can show the formula works because I'm not gonna prove the formula here. I could do another video and that would just stretch out my list of videos on this topic proving the formula, but at the moment I'm just gonna demonstrate that it works. This is really easy, if I wanted to, I could add up those first seven numbers, which I have just done, and the sum, what's the way we write it? The sum of the first seven numbers happens to be 77. So you could shortcut, you could check that, add it up yourself, but hopefully, well, if I don't make a silly mistake, what we're gonna get will be the same. Let's look at the formula. Now here in Western Australia, you have the formula written on the formula sheet and you're allowed to use that formula sheet in the non-calculator section of the exams. So it's nice because we have a class pad calculator which can do all of this in a you know, very short time without even needing the formula. Because all it does is you put in the numbers of the sequence, you tell it what to do and it gives you the answer. It's pretty incredible. So let's have a look at that because I'll put it in the non-calc section. So we want the sum of the first seven terms of that series. Let's have a look at it. So sum is seven. So the number of the position that we want to get up to, see there's the first position, second position, that goes up to the seventh position. We want to sum the first seven positions. So we're talking about seven positions, so that's seven on two. That's two times A, which is the first term, so it's built into the system, two times two, plus now we've got the position again, seven take one, and you can see how much you can shortcut this like crazy. And each time we're adding three, so we're going to times it by three. Now, I just will mention for a moment, some people don't write it with the square brackets, not written with the square brackets here in Western Australia, um, but I'm a bit of a traditionalist with brackets, that you do the parentheses first, and then when you go out to the next step, you actually go into these things, which are actually called brackets. Let's look at the maths involved, we've got seven on two. Now, at this stage, I can change them back to the normal thing we call brackets, which is parentheses, because I'm going to go four plus six times three, Easy thing here, we've got four plus 18, which a lot of people could have done in their head. We've got seven on two multiplied by 22. Now, back to fractions. You could multiply the tops and multiply the bottoms. Now remember, that's really a 22 on one. That's even and that's even, so I can go two into two goes once, two into 22 goes 11, and then we've got seven 11s are 77. You could write 77 over one, but you've got your 77. So that's the sum of the first seven terms. Now, if I wanted to go to something like the sum of the first, I don't know, 100 terms, let's just do that for a moment. Let's go to the sum of the first 100 terms. Now, what are we gonna go? Go back to the formula, it's 100 on two, outside of two times two plus, how many terms are we doing? So it's 100, take one times by D, which is three, and hopefully, I've just made this up in my head. The numbers aren't too bad, but I could always stop and pick up a calculator. So 100 divided by 2 is 50. It is nice, by the way, if they give you an even number of terms, not an odd, so you don't have to deal with the fractions. So 50 outside of 4 plus 100 take 1 is 99 times 3. So if I wanted to, I didn't have to use the square bracket, so it's interchangeable. So now we've got 50 outside of, what have we got, 4 99 times three, little mental tricks, I just go 100 times three, which is 300 and take off three, because it's one less three, that's 297. So we have 50 times by 301. And I wonder if I can do that in my head, or I can, or I can just go five times 301. So if you did have this in a um, non-calculator section, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ignore the 50, I'm just gonna go five. Five ones are five, five zeros are zero, five threes are 15, and I got an extra zero, which means multiply by 10. So maybe for some people, if I showed you that's five times 301 times 10, and you've never thought about it, 50 is just five times 10. So I don't worry about the 10, I just do the simple multiplication that's here. So we've got 15, oh five, and then we're gonna, oh actually if I go the whole step, I don't wanna to go too far down. 15.05 times 10. So that bit there is 15.05 times it by 5 by 10, you've got 15.050, 15,050. 
So it's not bad, even when you get yucky calculations. It would be terrible though if they made it a difference of say seven and you were talking about, I don't know, 63 terms, you'd have horrible calculations. From what I've seen here in WA, they don't normally go for the horrible calculations. They make it quite reasonable. I got home yesterday and looked at the video I'd created and I realized I hadn't dealt with the most important one of the lot, which is when it's going down. So what we're talking about is still an AP. Uh, this one is going down by five and it's going down by five. So it's got, I, it's got a D of minus five. And I see so many students muck it up. Just silly mistakes. Not confident with negatives. or actually make algebraic mistakes. Let's have a look what's going on. So if I want the sum of the first 16 terms, it's nice. Again, if it's even, it makes it a little bit easier to calculate. So we've got the square brackets, even though it's not on the formula sheet here, are square brackets. Uh, A is 100. We want 16 minus 1. Now the big one times 5. Now here's what I see. I've seen many, many students write. They'll write minus 5. So when you've got a bracket and you put a minus 5 beside it, mathematically that's wrong. In the waste report, they did talk about a few years ago about when they did that, they didn't lose the marks that particular year. I don't know what happens in other years. They didn't lose the marks because as long as they followed through and they went 15 times minus 5. Let's have a look at what happens. So really, you should be writing the uh, multiply, and I'd put a little minus up there. Putting the minus up there when you're doing multiplication, I see lots of students have uh, make less mistakes, have less problems. Let's have a look at what we've got then. The sum of the first 16 is eight, and they've got 200, plus we've got 15, lots of, and I'm gonna bother to write that in as an extra step. So now I've got eight, I could go normal parentheses, brackets, if you want them that way. And I've got 200. Now 15 times five, and I'm not, I see students still struggle with it. Five fives are 25, put down the five, carry the two. Five ones are five, plus two is 75. That's not bad. So what happens otherwise, you see people do all sorts of crazy stuff. So this is eight multiplied by 200 take 75 and 125. I look at it and I see the answer in my head because I'm used to the 125. So 125 times by eight. Eight fives, most people are okay with that. I just write the 40 that way. We talk about put the zero down and carry the four. Eight twos are 16, add the four is 20, put down the two. We've forgotten that from primary school years. Eight ones are eight plus the other two makes 10. And we've actually got a sum of a thousand. So it'd be interesting if you actually took the time and you wrote down 195, 90, 85, 80, 75, 70, and you took that down to the 16th number and you added them up. Turns out to be a thousand. I didn't mean to get a thousand on purpose, but it's not it's nice that it worked out to be. Interesting. If I did the question in reverse and I'd say, how many terms does it take for that sum to get to a thousand, you'd say it was 16 terms, which is what we do in a lot of things. Once you do it forwards, we do it in reverse. If you find that helpful, please press the like, let your friends know. Thanks for watching.